Hi. Now, I'm assuming that you've seen an earlier video on the mean of a function. And what I've got here is a follow-up example that you might like to try. We've got here that if f of x equals the natural log of kx, and it has a mean of 1 over this interval from 2 to 5, given that k is equal to the cube root of a times e squared, where a is rational, we've got to find k. Now I'll give you a few moments to pause the video if you'd like to have a go. When you come back, do fast forward if you want to check your answer quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to take you through all the steps, okay? Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So uh, don't forget, do fast forward if you want to check your answer quickly. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, let's just remind ourselves of the formula for the mean of a function, okay, a continuous function. If you're unsure of this formula, do go back and check my earlier tutorial. See, there's a link in the description below the video. Okay, so what you should be familiar with is that what we need to do is integrate our function f of x with respect to x between the limits of the interval, which we call a and b. And then you multiply that with 1 over b minus a. And that gives us then the mean of our function f of x, okay, written as f bar. Right, so... What I'm going to need to do then is I'm just going to work out, first of all, the integral part, okay? So that's going to be the integral of the natural log of kx. So we'll just copy that in there. Notice that we've got it between those limits then of 2 and 5. And to integrate something like this, we're going to need to do integration by parts. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with that, okay? Again, do check out... Uh, the earlier tutorials on integration by parts, if you're unfamiliar with that. Again, links in the description, okay? So to do this, what I'm going to do is insert a 1 here. That's what we would do if we're doing integration by parts for this type of question. So integrating by parts in the usual way, where I've let dv by dx be the 1 and u be the natural log of kx. Integrating by parts, you're going to get this result here, okay? So I've integrated the 1, so that's going to be x, multiplied it by the natural log of kx, and then it's minus the integral of what you just integrated, which was that x, times the differential of this part here, the natural log of kx. I've used the chain rule here, it's 1 over kx times k, okay? You might want to change this to the natural log of k plus the natural log of x. So when it comes to differentiating the natural log of a constant, that's going to be 0. And differentiating the natural log of x, that's going to be 1 over x. Okay, You'll notice those k's cancel out. So either way, you're going to get 1 over x when it comes to differentiating natural log of kx. So I'm just going to clean this up. You'll notice that all this reduces down to 1 here. So when you clean this up, you're going to get the integral of 1 with respect to x. Then that's going to give us an x there. Okay, you'll notice there. And what I'm going to do next is just substitute my limits in. If I substitute my limits in, I'm going to get this result. Then I'm going to tidy this up. Let's remove the brackets and use the power rule for logs, okay? So uh, that's what we're going to get there. Bring the 5 up, so it's going to be the natural log of all of 5k to the power 5 and minus natural log of 2k all to the power 2, okay? And then you've got the minus 5 plus the 2 there gives us the minus 3. And then I'm going to use the subtraction rule for logs. Okay, here we can replace this by a division. 
Okay, so we get the natural log of 3125 k to the power 5. That's 5 to the power 5 is 3125. And that's over 4k squared, the result of 2k all squared. And then I'm going to start to work off the formula here now for the mean f bar. All right. Now we know that mean, we're told, is 1. Okay, the mean up here was 1. So all I need to do is multiply this by 1 over b minus a. That's 1 over 5 minus 2, which is going to be a third. So I'm going to set up that equation, and we've got a third of this result, the integral. All right. Must equal that mean of 1. Then I'm just going to simplify this, head towards working out k. I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 here, just to get rid of that 3. And then we'll add this 3 to both sides, and we're going to get this result. And then anti-log, right, to get rid of this natural log here. And you're going to get... 3125 over 4 times k cubed equals e to the power 6. Rearrange this for k cubed by multiplying by 4 and dividing by 3125, and then take the cube root of both sides. So if you do that, k is going to be equal to the cube root of 4e to the power 6 all over 3125. Now, this is nearly in this form here, but we can see that the cube root of e to the power 6 is going to be e squared. So rewriting that, then we get this form up here. All right, so k equals the cube root then of 4 over 3125, and that cube root is then multiplied with e squared. Okay, so hope you're able to get that. Well done if you did. If not, at least being able to see how we do it. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Give us a like, please, if you did feel that this was useful to you. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you'll get notifications then of any updates that I put up. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully see you again in another video.